a small basket full of produce from the garden. So I've been outside and I've picked broad beans. Broad beans are looking really great now. I had a little feel just to make sure these pods have got firm, full beans inside them. Also courgettes. I've got courgettes fruiting now and I dug up some potatoes. So let's try and make something with all of this. I think I'm gonna make stuffed pancakes. So we're gonna start with 100 grams of oat flour. You could use ordinary wheat flour. I really like oat flour for pancakes. It makes a really nice, fluffy, soft pancake. A little pinch of salt. One large egg. And milk. This might take up to about half a pint of milk, but I'm just gonna keep on adding milk until I feel like we've got a nice batter. There we go. Okay, so just we'll have a look at the texture of that. Yeah, so it's kind of like thin cream. That should be a decent pancake batter. So we'll cover that, leave it to stand for, a, I don't know, half an hour. So a few rashers of streaky bacon. That should be more than enough. And while that bacon's cooking, I think we need about probably half of this onion. Okay, not remotely finished cooking that bacon yet. But now that it's partly cooked, it's a lot easier to chop up into little chunks. That'll do, I think. Good. Okay, that together with the onion now goes back in the pan, which allows me some time to deal with these broad beans. So let's have a look and see what we got inside of here. Oh yes, they look nice. Nice little... I think there's two different varieties here, so we expect to see some slight differences. Those are not even gonna need peeling. They're so tender and young. So yeah, I'm expecting to find... Yeah, see, these are different. This is the other variety. I can't remember the two varieties we planted, but... So we've got two different sorts here. Normally, if broad beans are a little bit bigger than this, the skins might get tough and need to be peeled off, but I don't think that, that will be the case here. In fact, in fact, look, you can see, I can actually mark that with my fingernails. They're so tender. So, amazing fresh broad beans. I am gonna just kind of cook these in their own juices in the pan. So all I'm gonna do is just run the knife through this pile a couple of times. I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting to cut every bean in half here, just some of them. Something like that. And then these are just gonna get a little bit of cooking in there with the bacon and onions. And we'll know when that's ready because while the bacon's starting to go browned, the onions are starting to go translucent, the beans will go darker green. Some little leaves of thyme from the herb garden. And a bit of winter savoury, also known as bean herb. I'll put that in there now because the aromas in these herbs are fat soluble. So it's the fat from the bacon that's gonna carry these flavors into the rest of the dish. Okay, we're there. The bacon is as cooked as I want it. And that you can just see that those beans have gone slightly darker green and they they just feel, actually when I get, even when I catch them with the spatula here, you can just feel that they're that little bit more tender. In fact, if I'm not too careful, they fall apart. So heat off and we'll get that transferred into a bowl because we're going to reuse this pan for the pancakes. Okay, pancakes, and just look at how that batter has actually thickened quite a bit as it's sat there. There is still some bacon fat in there, but it might just need a little bit more oil to help it along. Right, well, here goes. Pancakes are always a bit tricky, especially the first one. I don't think that was hot enough. We'll see how we get on. Okay, we'll know when we're getting somewhere because the pancake starts to loosen up from the pan. Dare I try flipping it? This could all go horribly wrong. It didn't though. That does need a little bit more on this side. That's 
it's getting better. Okay, right, I'm going to cook a few pancakes, then we'll stuff them. All right, well, that made four pancakes, all different from each other. Well, four and a half, if you include that one. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that one. We might need it for patching up or something. I'll kind of divide that filling into four. And then carefully, I'm just going to package that up. And then it goes straight into this dish here. I'm going to get four of them in there. Okay, last one. I've got some potential mishaps here. So I'm actually going to put a couple of bits of this in there like that. So four pancakes in a dish, a little bit messy. I think maybe I should have let the batter rest for longer or maybe I should have used a combination of oat and wheat flour just to give it a little bit more integrity. Anyway, that's my four stuffed pancakes. I'm going to make a kind of fake cheese sauce to go on top of here. Now I say fake cheese sauce, not because I'm going to use fake cheese, but because it's fake sauce. So rather than go to all the trouble of making a roux and a Mornay sauce or whatever, I'm just going to fake it with some Greek style yogurt. That's half of that 500 gram tub, so about 250 grams of yogurt. Into which, for flavour, I've got some Grana Padano. So we'll finely grate that in there. I'm just going to eyeball these quantities. I'm not really measuring this. I'm just going to go until I think I've put enough in. I'm going to have some mixed dried herbs. This is parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme. And then mature cheddar. And this, like I say, I'm just going to keep on grating until I reckon that might be about it. So my fake cheese sauce is now going to go in blobs on top of here. And then, because why not, a bit more cheese on top. Now this is going to go in the oven. There's nothing in here that requires further cooking. So this is really just going to go in the oven to get it hot and bubbly and toasty. These potatoes are the first potatoes from our garden and they are so lovely and firm and fresh and new. It would be a crime to do very much complicated with these. I think we're just going to give them a scrub and just boil them for a few minutes in some salted water. But yeah, when I say scrub, all I've actually done is just run that under the tap and just rub it with my hands and look how lovely and perfect that potato is. And likewise, these courgettes, just have a listen to what this is like when I cut it. I don't know if you can get that from the video, but really firm fleshed courgettes because they were just picked 10 minutes ago. And all I'm going to do with these is just cut them into little batons, quarters like that. And I'm going to lightly fry these in butter. These potatoes are done, still nice and firm but cooked. So we'll just drain those. And then these courgettes, I kind of on purpose used a lot of butter in these courgettes. They're almost like a confit, the way they're cooked. But that does leave me a bit of butter. That almost worked. Courgette infused butter to go on the potatoes. Tiny little bit of garlic chives in there. Stuffed pancakes are bubbly, cheesy napalm. I'm going to just let that stand for just a few minutes before we try and serve. And I think just to cut through all that butter in these courgettes, we'll just have a squeeze of lemon in there. That's good. I reckon we're just about ready to plate up. So, stuffed pancakes. Homegrown, new potatoes, homegrown butter and lemon courgettes. So the stuffed pancake, stuffed with bacon, broad beans and onion. Oh, that is really good. And the saltiness of the bacon with the acidity of the yogurt actually works really well. Butter and lemon courgette. Mm. 
course, the new potatoes. You wouldn't think something as simple as a potato would taste so different just because it's been dug up out of the soil today and cooked straight away. But it's it's really the only reason to grow potatoes at home because it's not cost effective, but the eating experience is just an order of magnitude different from shop-bought potatoes. I just had to record this little bit after eating my meal because I realised I didn't describe the taste of the filling. Broad beans, bacon, herbs and onion, really lovely combination. Deeply savoury, very satisfying. Anyway, so that was stuffed pancakes, stuffed with good things from the garden. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.